peace be unto you the grace from our Lord Jesus Christ God the Father peace be unto you all you ministers of Jesus Christ the messengers of the churches greetings from even God so welcome again to New Jerusalem which is Mount Zion and Jerusalem and today I just want to tell you that the morning is come to you the morning is come to you let's read St. John chapter 12 let's begin at St. John 12 in John chapter 12 verse 46 I am come a light into the world I am come a light into the world as the title of this video is the morning is come to you which is the day of the Lord the day of the Lord is come to you so it says I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Ezekiel chapter seven verse seven. The morning is come unto is come unto thee, O thou that dwell in the land. The morning is come unto you, O you that dwell in the land. time is come the time is come the day of trouble is near the time is come the day of trouble is near this is the day of the Lord and it is come near to you let's go right here let's read Luke chapter 10 Luke chapter 10 Luke chapter 10 verse 11 verse 9 and heal the sick that are therein and say unto them the kingdom of God is come near unto you the kingdom of God is come near unto you say so the morning is come to you let's read it again the morning is come unto thee O thou that dwell in the land the time is come the day of trouble is near and, and not the sounding again of the mountains not the sounding again of the mountains see I was ignorant and was foolish. That's the sounding of the mountains who I was in the past. But the morning is come. See, and the shouting of mountains has ceased. Time is come. Let's go to let's go to Joel. Joel. Joel chapter two verse two. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. So though it's a dark day, it bring it light. <laughs> the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, but in that day is, is light. In the darkness is the light. The light dwelleth among the darkness. It's God again it says, A day of darkness and of, and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains great people and are strong see them say the morning is come to you the kingdom of God is come near unto you he said the day of trouble is near see that he has brought salvation near to you it is even at the doors it's even before your face it's like it says a great people and are strong there had not been ever the like neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations let's read Psalm chapter 43 let's read the same Psalm 43 Psalm chapter Psalm chapter 5 let's see Psalm chapter 5 verse 3 verse 3 let's read it 
Psalm 5 verse 3 My voice shall you hear in the morning O Lord The morning is when you know receive the light And you know preaching the gospel Because you know have the gospel You have the light So you know doing the work of the Lord Right So it says my voice shall thou hear in the morning Let's read it again My voice shall thou hear in the morning <laughs> See that when the light is come, you begin to speak. You now have the understanding of what you read. So it says, For thou art, it says, For My voice shall you hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto you and will look up. So now you have confidence before God because you now have the light. And the light is Christ. The light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So he said, so he says, a more as a people, he says, a day of darkness, a day of clouds. As the morning spread upon the clouds. Let's read Psalm 42. Psalm 42, verse 8. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime. See, he's commanding his loving kindness in the morning, in the daytime. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and in the night. His song shall be with me. So whether I am dark or light, it is unto the Lord. Whether I am hot or cold, it is unto the Lord. He, 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 he rather us hot or cold. If we are lukewarm, he spews out of his mouth. So it says, in the night, so also in the night, in the day and in the night. It says, the night, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. So even in darkness, he is my light. And in the light, he is my light darkness is my light so it says his song shall be with me and my prayer unto the God of my life let's read Romans chapter Romans Romans chapter 14 verse 7 for none of us live live to himself and no man die to himself no man live to himself no man die to himself so we say day and night morning and the evening let's go again verse 8 for whether we live we live unto the Lord so whether I am light it is unto the Lord it says for whether we live we live unto the Lord and whether we die we die unto the Lord so whether I am darkness or night it is unto the Lord so it says, whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. So whether I am darkness or light, I am the Lord's. Because he made night and day, he made good and evil. <laughs> you see, so the Lord do good to them that are righteous, but evil to them which are wicked. Oh my. Let's read this, St. John. St. John chapter 3, verse 19. Let's go to that. St. John chapter 3. Should I even go here? I don't think I should go here yet, but I'm going to go here. St. John three nineteen. it says, verse 19, And this is the condemnation. So this is why people are condemned. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light. Men love the, men love the night more than the morning. He says, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Oh my. But everyone that doeth evil hate the light, neither to come to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So there's a so, so so there's a darkness which is which is not of God. And there's a darkness which is of God. 
show you right here and the darkness of God is light but it's not darkness let's read this 1st John chapter 1 verse 6 1st John 1 verse 5 this then is the message we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all do you see that in God there is no darkness at all but hold on David said in the night shall be sung also and Paul said whether we die or live it is unto the Lord Do you see so I'm showing you that there is a darkness which is in God which is light and there's a darkness which is not of God which is darkness <laughs> so 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 let me, let, me, let me show you right there let's read this let's read Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 30 Jeremiah 33 verse Jeremiah 33 verse verse 20 thus saith the Lord he says no. yeah, verse 24 Jeremiah 33 24 considerest thou not what these people have spoken saying the two families which the Lord had chosen the two families which the Lord had chosen the dragons and the owls Mount Zion and Jerusalem Jews and Gentiles Okay. He says, Thus said the Lord, yeah. Consider thou not what his people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord had chosen, he had even cast them off. Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more a nation before them. So we say two in one. Two families. We've mentioned, we mentioned the morning and the evening, day and night. Right? So the Lord has two families. So now we read it says in God there is no darkness. You see, so these two families, though it be night and day, the night is even as the day because one is the morning, but there's a morning and an evening outside of God. <laughs> you see, oh my. Let's read right here let's read so when he said men love darkness rather than light in that context he's speaking of men love to be ignorant or they love the devil or Satan more than God they love ignorance more than to know the truth so let's go right here and as I said there's a truth which is not of God there's a truth it's not of God though it's the truth Let's read this. Let's read this right here. Let's read this right here. Psalm 52. Psalm 52, verse 1. Let's begin at verse 1. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? So the mighty man is boasting himself in mischief, and David is asking why. He says, so we're going to find out what is this mischief. What is this mischief he's boasting himself in? He says, Oh mighty man, the goodness of God endure continually. So we see mischief versus what? The goodness of God. Alright? Verse 2. Thy tongue devises mischiefs. So the mischiefs is lies. Lies. Lying. Let's go again. Thy tongue devises mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Tongue devises mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. That's what is going on now in the earth. That's what is going on now. Men love darkness rather than light. He says, so men love mischief more than the truth. And mischief is lies. So he says, verse 3, thou lovest evil more than good. See? Men love darkness rather than light. That's what Christ was saying in St. John 3, verse 19. Psalm 52, verse 3. Thou lovest even more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Psalm 58, verse 1. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you 
indeed speak righteousness, O congregation, it says, Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Do ye judge uprightly, ye sons of men? Verse 2, Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, the same mischief which is lies. See, so they're preparing lies in, in, in their heart to deceive. And that's the old man. It says, Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Yea, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. That are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, say mischief upon mischief. They have devised mischief, lies, and those lies are gonna kill the saints. Those lies, all right. Here now, therefore, we need to be have, a, have, have the whole, whole arm of God that will be protected as saints. So, go right here, let's go to. Psalm 3 verse 5 I laid me down and slept I await for the Lord sustain me He laid him down and slept He await That's the death, the burial and the resurrection of Christ So the night and the day Represent the death, burial and the resurrection of Christ the Two families Before he ascend he must descend That's how it works that's, that's, that is, that's the law set down Or laid down It says I laid me down and slept Ignorance when in ignorance, dead in sins and trespasses, and it says, I awake for the Lord sustain me. So we see Jesus Christ fulfilling right here. Psalm 3, verse 5. Buried in the new, he was crucified, buried in the new tomb, rose again the third day. Alright. So there's two families. So yes, so those two families is called the morning. It's one body. The morning is two families, day and night, called the morning. All right, called the morning. Revelation chapter eighteen, verse one. After these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power. He saw an angel come down from heaven having great power. It happened already. And the angel is speaking to you. The angel is speaking to you. Let's go to this. Notice it says full, full of power. chapter 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and it says and you shall be witnesses when the Holy Ghost come upon you you receive power and then you witness you minister you witness you see and that's what David said in the morning will I cry unto God in the morning will you hear my voice so you receive the light you know of understanding and it's now distributing so let's go again Psalm, Psalm 5 verse 3 my voice shall you hear in the morning O Lord that's when the Holy Ghost come upon you and you receive power you see you become as the light Jesus I become a light in the world so let's see it says well, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you Revelation 18 verse 1 and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power having great power let's go right here this is Micah chapter Micah chapter 3 verse verse 5 Micah 3 verse 6 Therefore night shall be unto you that you shall have not a vision So him say Therefore the night shall be unto you that you shall not have a vision 
in the night is darkness there's no vision in the night in the night is when men are cut off right when men are cut off he says therefore shall night be unto you that you shall not have a vision and it shall be dark unto you that you shall not divine and the sun shall go down over the prophets and the day shall be dark over them so remember we, we read that in Joel chapter 2 right they have darkness and they have clouds and they have luminous as the morning spread upon the clouds. So this morning, so, so this darkness is shining, right? It says, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded. That is when they now return unto the Lord. When they return, they shall be ashamed and confounded. Let us prove it. When they return. Psalm chapter 6 verse 10 Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. So when you, you, so when you return to the Lord, God, God, remember the word is God, you know. When you return to the word, you're going to be confounded and be, and, be, and, and be ashamed. Because you're going to learn things so wonderful that you didn't know. And you're going to see the Lord in a different way which you never seen before. And you're going to realize that you are lying on him. So it says, then shall the seers be, be ashamed when I gave the answer in Psalm chapter 6. When they return unto him, it says, Then the seers shall be ashamed and the diviners confound, yea, they shall cover their lips, for there is no answer of God. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. So, so basically the prophet is saying, Everywhere else around him is darkness, but he knows the light. He has the light in a dark place, right? He says, but truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. See, so he was mentioning darkness at first, how there was no vision. But now he said, I am full of power, so he has the light now, right? He says, that, 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 that's why Christ said, all that came before me were what? Thieves and robbers. All that came before him, that's the night which was before him. But he's the morning which is come. He says, But truly I'm full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and, and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. They say, In the morning I'll declare. In the, in, in the morning the Lord will hear my voice. When the light is come, he says, Truly, I'm full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Revelation 18, verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Truly, I'm full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. Psalm 97 verse 4 His lightnings enlightened the world And the earth saw and trembled His lightnings enlightened the world The earth saw and trembled You see so many people tremble at these lessons Right when they hear these words of wrath It says Verse 3 A fire, go before, go, a fire goes before him And burns up his enemies round about His lightnings enlightened the world earth saw and trembled say the fire give it light let's go to the book of enoch for a little bit
so we're now going to Enoch. chapter 23 all right okay, let's go in chapter 23 starting from verse 1 from there I went to another place toward the west unto the extremities of the earth where I beheld a fire blazing and running along without cessation so he saw a fire running and blazing without stopping without cessation right without ceasing so it says fire so he saw fire blazing and running and Paul said that we must run the race set before us right we must run the race set before us right it says where I beheld a fire blazing and running along without cessation which intermitted its course neither by day nor by night see there was no break in its course day by night that's why intermission is a break so it says which intermitted its course neither by day nor by night <laughs> so so we said two families coming to play again but continued always the same always the same always preaching the gospel always shine the light it says i inquired i asked saying what is this which never ceases then Raguel, one of the holy angels who were with me answered and said this blazing fire which you behold running toward the west is all the luminaries of heaven is all the luminaries of heaven so i am a luminary of heaven i'm a light of heaven that's what a luminary is there is something that gives light a luminary so let's go back to this again so the morning is coming to you the luminary First Kings chapter six, first Kings six verse four. First Kings chapter six verse four. And for the house he made windows of narrow light. Alright. And for the house he made windows of narrow light for the house. Right? The house. He made windows of narrow light. And the house is us. He made windows of narrow light. Let us go right here. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 6 but Christ as a son over his own house whose house are we whose house are we right whose house are we so let's go back again first Kings first Kings chapter 6 verse 4 and for the house see that which is us he made something for us says and for the house he made windows of narrow light windows of narrow light Matthew chapter 7 verse 3 it says Matthew chapter 7 verse 14 because straight is the gate and narrow is the way so remember the luminaries went straight away they did not seize they didn't stop they went on their courses without ceasing right he said because straight is the gate and narrow is the way straight to the gate and narrow is the way so he made for the house narrow lights the light is narrow i remember jesus said i am come a light into the world this light is speaking of his christ this light straight to the gate that narrow is the way which leadeth unto life Christ is the way that leadeth to life he is the way the truth and the life so the way is leading to life he is leading to his father right to his father it says he is leading to his father it says because straight to the gate that narrow is the way which leadeth unto life which leadeth unto his father they say that because remember God is life and he is the life right let's read right here it says 
in John 1 verse 4 in him was life and the life was the light of men oh my <laughs> oh my it says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made him in him was the life and the life was the light of men Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Christ is also the life. His Father is the life, and He's the life. Right? He and His Father is one. So He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So God is also the truth, and His Son is the truth. His Father is the life, and His Son is the life. So let's go back again. Matthew 7, verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way. And Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Christ is leading you unto life, even so the apostles lead you unto Christ, which is life. <laughs> you see, narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. So remember, we are also are turning into Christ. Do you see that? So we are, we are also narrow ways, our narrow lights. Narrow light. So straight the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Few there be that find it. So blessed is he which findeth us, which is the house of God which is the house of Christ, whose house are we? So, so continue to study and grow in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come back, I'll come back to you again with a video later on. Peace be unto you. Like, share, subscribe.